What's going on guys? Super Apathy Saiyan here in the building and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the pools. Now, a lot of you guys probably have seen it or you haven't seen it, but we are in the pool of death. Now why do you think I say that? We have TCM, Optic Nation, who has improved a lot. We have Epsilon, TCM, Jared Moose, the two legendary duos, Ace and TP, and then an open bracket team. We have three very strong teams on top of us being it in our pool. It's gonna be hard and it ain't gonna be easy. That's why they call it the pool of death. Either way, guys, luckily it's just a pool, it's not a bracket, so therefore, I can look at this practice, you know, it's gonna be tons of fun, a lot of competition, I'm very excited to play. You know, ever since I didn't make uh, the relegation tourney, I've been more driven, you know, I've had the fire inside of me, I realized how many mistakes I've been doing, how bad I've been playing in certain, certain situations at certain times, and you know, this is my chance, this is my time to prove myself, you know, I'm very, very, very pumped and very excited to be playing all these top teams, you know, in our pool, and even if we somehow didn't make it, which we, we aren't going to make it because, you know, your boy Apathy is back. You know, it's going to be very exciting to, to be playing all these amazing teams. You know, I can't wait to show my skill off. I can't wait to play these teams. You know, I'm pumped. But before I go, I would like to talk about the other pools. And I'll start off with the A pool, which is Optic, Envy, XGN, and Dunkin' No Donuts. Who, th who thought of that name? Obviously, my prediction here is Optic's going to be taking a pool first seed of the pool, but, 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 Envy has been looking pretty strong, uh, you know, they assembled a, a pretty good team, especially adding Aqua and Octane, which I played with them, and I know what they're made of, you know, I know those players are really good, so, I think, honestly, when Optic and Envy face each other, if Envy is hot, I feel like they can win, but the chances aren't that high, I definitely think they could take a couple maps, maybe one or two maps, but Optic is in my favor. I'm pretty sure Optic will beat them. Also for the open bracket team, I really don't think there's that many good open bracket teams going to the event. I know there's a couple, but obviously none that can really compete with Envy or Optic. And I definitely think if Envy does not get first, they're definitely getting second in the pool. So Pool B is also a decent pool. I definitely think Pool A and Pool B have the easiest, obviously, because they're the first and second seed. We have FaZe, Rise, E6, and Rod Squad, who I have no idea who Rod Squad is. But I think I do, but I want to say anything because I don't want to be incorrect and you guys judging me and stuff. Now, same thing. I really do see FaZe getting first place in the pool. You know, they have a really dominant squad now. They added Clayster and Attach, which I think is a pretty good, pretty good roster if you ask me. Like, they replaced Slasher and Huke, which I obviously think they're all honestly like top 10 players. But, you know, they added other top 10 players, top 5 players, whatever you want to rate them. So, definitely I think they're going to be taking first. But you can't count out Rise or Enigma 6. Those teams uh, have a lot of talent. You know, Rise, I feel like they've sort of fell off a little bit with all the roster changes. You know, they were forced to pick up Goon, and they were forced to pick up TJ after their drop from TK. And then now they replaced Goon with TCM. And it's just a whole bunch of mixing. You know, I feel like they're not going to be as prepared as a lot of the other teams in the pool. But it all comes down to playtime. If they show up, if they go clutch, if they go huge, if they have the fire and they play amazing, then they have a chance of getting second. I don't think they'll get first in the pool. And then E6, which is Parasite's team, and they picked up Proofy, which was actually a pretty good pick considering the team. You know, it, they have pretty much General the main AR, Proofy the second AR. They have Parasite and Ruiz, both subs, and it's a pretty decent squad. I ran with them a little bit, I played some tournaments, and they're definitely a good team. I think there's gonna be a solid roster. Now, for the last pull, before I go, pull C. A lot of people are saying pull D is not the death pull, it's pull C, but honestly, come on. Pool D is a little bit harder. I do agree Pool C is, has a pretty good amount of teams, like very talented teams. You know, I definitely agree that it's probably the second hardest pool, but our pool beats it just by a little bit. You have the Nile, TK, VVV, and ISO, and obviously the open bracket team. The team I think that's gonna take it is the Nile. I feel like they're really prepared. You know, they have a solid roster. They have really good players on there. I think TK, with the new roster change, they aren't going to be as prepared because, you know, they barely played together. Just like how we, as a team, have barely played with each other. But, you know, it, it, the thing that is kind of contradicting is the fact that we played this game for so long. So we understand what's wrong and what's right. So you can't really put that as an excuse. But it does, it does go to certain circumstance when, you know, chemistry, teamwork, all of that's also evolved. And the more you play with each other, the more you're bound to do better because you have more consistency, you have more chemistry, you know how to play the map together, you know what your teammates do, you know what he doesn't do, and therefore you're gonna play better as a team. 
but I think that is a small factor in that. Then you got VVV who are kind of more of an S and D team. Respawn, I don't know. They might take some uplinks. Hardpoint, I feel like they're gonna struggle a little bit. But S and D, you know, I feel like that's gonna be their strong suit. They have Fellow, Fizzurp. I forgot the last two players. I don't want to say any wrong names right now, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But definitely gonna be a decent team. And then ISO, they won their relegation. You know, they're a pretty good team. We lost to them last map, 5-5, which we sh we choked really bad. I didn't play too well on the hard points. And, you know, it, we should have won. But either way, they put up a pretty good fight. You know, I've seen them play against other teams. They played really good. And I definitely think they're going to be their strong team. My predictions are for the top two, it's going to be Denial and ISO. And TK and VVV are going to be fighting for third. You never know. If TK is hot, like I said, if they're a little bit more prepared than I thought, if they're on fire, then they could take second. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is me talking about the pools, the pool of death. You know, it's your, it's, your, it's your normal Saiyan here, just doing what I do, becoming a Super Saiyan. Either way, guys, I hope you have a great day, and peace out. Wait, 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 wait. Apathy, out.